excited to let you in on a secret. Alam nyo ba ng ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika? They are breaking records and really making name for themselves here in the States, whether it be some music, American Idol, we reported earlier, or in the arts, or in Hollywood, and even, guess what, in powerlifting. Francis Astia is here joining us. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Francis has been a competitive powerlifting athlete since 2007, and he holds three uh, California State Powerlifting Championships and 10 first place finishes from various powerlifting meets, and right now three records, right? Correct. Can you tell us about those records? Yes, yeah, so uh, I basically compete in two different uh, powerlifting federations. Uh, number one is the uh, United States Powerlifting Association, and I set the record uh, back in January uh, for the California state record and the American record with a 534-pound deadlift. And then the other one is in a different weight class uh, for the United States Powerlifting Federation that was set uh, back in September with a 507-pound deadlift. So you're setting records here and there. Congratulations. But my first question is, what is it about powerlifting that got you into it or got you hooked? You know, I, I've been training in weights and have been a athletic for many years. Uh -huh. And back in 2007, I decided just to try out my first meet and, right. you know, test my strength. Right. And ever since then, you know, we just got hooked with um, with the sport and the people that I uh, work out with, my trainers, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. It's actually considered a sport, yeah? Yes, it is. Yeah. But um, it, it's not a sport that most people are very familiar with. So uh, when you mentioned earlier you were starting with just lifting, I, I assume that was physical training. Yeah, correct. Right. Correct. And then how did you graduate? Not not too many people do that. Yeah, I just wanted to be challenged a little bit more. I wanted to test uh, my limits and mm -hmm. see, you know, where, where I can take it. I think that, you know, as a, a human strength can be elevated in so many different ways. Right. But is this something that you can make a career of or do you have a day job? I do have a day job. <laughs> My wife would kill me if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how often do you train for powerlifting? Yeah, I train four days a week, and uh, it just you have to train smart. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes it's four days, sometimes it's three days, depending upon the need and if I'm training for a competition or not. And it's not just training, being physically at the gym, lifting, right? You're also is diet also involved in this? I, absolutely. Um, I have to eat every two hours, you know, to get the the amount of protein and the calories that I need to sustain the endurance uh, during my training. Right. What about injuries? Are you not scared of injuries? You know, actually, uh, it's funny you bring that up because when I competed in um, January, mm -hmm. when I set the record for uh, the deadlift. Yes, I see that here, yeah. Yeah, I actually had torn my right pectoral muscle uh, in December. Okay. And so the the muscle from the bicep to the to the pec had, had torn completely. Ow. And so the my pectoral muscle shifted all the way here, okay. and I had you know internal bleeding in there. So fortunately, uh, the muscle did not tear off the tendon, and mm -hmm. um, I was still able to compete um, with slight pain. Uh, slight only. Yeah. <laughs> I fractured my left foot last uh, Jan early January. Mm -hmm. It was it even to now to this day. It's still painful. Yeah, I'm, I'm still healing, so it's yeah. not. Um, I'm still injured. I'm not really 100% capacity. So why are you still in it? What what what's so great about it? It's a it's a physical drive. You know, it, it's what helps me. You know, get motivated uh, in the morning, you know, during the day, and especially at work too. Right. You know, as, as you know, if you do some kind of training or uh, some kind of physical training out there, it also helps you uh, elevate yourself in your right. professional life and keeps you motivated and just but, uh, competitive. Well, there's training yeah. and there's power lifting and being competitive mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Who should be, get into it? Is there a specific character trait needed for an athlete to get into power? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say uh, it's not necessary. Um, a lot of the a athletes that do compete in powerlifting are, you know, all ages, um, from men to women to uh, to teenagers. So it's just a matter of, again, you know, w wanting to test your boundaries in, in strength, you know, um, the particular lift, see how much you can lift on that and right. what your potential is. And I guess dedication and passion, too. You obviously have a passion for it. You seem very happy talking about it. Yeah. What's next for you? Where do you plan to take this? You know, the whatever you said is always there's always a bar that you set for yourself. So 534 is what I lifted at at a, at a very light body weight of 169. Uh, it can be you know 550, it could be 600. You know, so uh, those are the those are the boundaries that you set for yourself, and you just got to keep going at it. Scary, <laughs> but good luck, and hopefully next time you can come with those things, then we'll, we'll see. We'll, sure, we'll test sure. your limit. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. More power to you. Thank you. We'll be back on Cabo Bay in LA. Mountain High Resort tickets up for grabs, and we'll tell you how when we return. Don't go away. Ang Cabo Bay in LA, ahatid sa inyo ng